Section 6, Monitoring and Alerting. In this video, we will learn about monitoring with PM2's key metrics. We'll create a monitoring microservice that will monitor our microservices for us. And that microservice will alert us upon failure of any of those other microservices. And we will look at Uptime Robot and some other solutions for alerting and monitoring. Monitoring with PM2 and key metrics. In this video, we'll learn about using PM2 to monitor microservices and use key metrics monitoring. So PM2 provides very simple monitoring that you can elicit from the command line by typing PM2 monit, M-O-N-I-T. Here, you can see we're at the command line. If we type PM2 M-O-N-I-T, a monitor pops up and we can see the processes that are currently running, the CPU utilization and memory utilization. So right now, everything's looking pretty good. An alternative to using the command line choice for key metrics is to register for key metrics, which is a PM2 service. It is a free service and all you have to do is sign up with an email and password. And once you're registered, you can link your microservices to the key metrics dashboard and get real time monitoring data. Once you are linked to your PM2 key metrics account, all you have to do is make sure that you have PM2 installed on the servers where you have your microservices running and you link your PM2 to key metrics. You can also run this within Docker, which gives you the ability to run PM2 inside of a Docker container. Here you can see how simple it is from the command line to link to your key metrics account. All you have to do is type PM2 link and you will be linked to your account. So as you saw before in the monitoring dashboard inside of Linux from the command line, the key metrics dashboard is kind of the same thing. However, it is much more nice looking and there are a lot more features available. There's a lot of things that you can go in there and do. You can also set up notifications, which I'll show you next. Configuring notifications is pretty simple. You can set up your um, Slack integration or webhook, which lets you send a fire off a message to a URL. And at that URL, I guess it could be a messaging microservice of some kind or some other integration. And then it will let, it will send a notification upon that, those configured triggers and send to the webhook. It's a little bit of configuration in this case, but as you'll see soon, we're going to build our own microservice for monitoring our microservices that sends alerts. And that is quite complicated to set up. In this video, we learn about simple PM2 monitoring. We learned where and how to register for key metrics, how to link our PM2 to key metrics. We looked at the key metrics dashboard and looked at configuring notifications.